Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the second theory in theories of bonding in metals that is free electron theory or electron C model. The electron C model was proposed by Drood and Lorentz. We know that metals are electropositive elements. They can readily lose electrons and they can form positively charged ions. According to this theory, metal comprises of kernel and free valency electrons. Kernel is a lattice of rigid spheres of positively charged ions. According to this theory, there is no movement of positively charged ions. The position of positively charged ions is fixed. The kernel is static. But the valency electrons, the free ele electrons are mobile and they can move throughout the volume of the metal. So, according to electron C model, cations embedded are immersed in a sea of uh, mobile electrons. According to free electron theory, the interaction between kernel and free electrons are very weak. It means the bond between kernel and free electrons is a weak bond. And the interaction between electrons themselves is too small and can be ignored according to this theory. It means the interaction between electrons is similar to the interaction between gases molecules in ideal gas. What are the merits of uh, free electron theory? It can explain the conductivity of uh, metals. The conductivity of metals is due to free electrons or mobile electrons. And also it can explain opaque nature of metals. Then there is a radiation of light. The light is absorbed by the metal due to having free electrons. That's why metals are opaque in nature. And also metals are lustrous. They are shiny due to having free electrons. Then there is a irradiation of light. There is a reflection of light. Due to reflection of light, metals exhibit lustrous behavior. And also metals are malleable and ductile. They can be converted into thin sheets and thin whites due to having free electrons. When there is a, when there is a applying of stress on the metals, there is a rolling of metal layers. When there is a rolling of metal layers, there is no breaking of bonds. That's why these are malleable and ductile. But uh, this theory has some limitations, uh, some demerits. It failed to explain the difference in observed and the practical specific heat of metals. Observed and predicted specific heat of metals. There is a difference in theoretical value of specific heat and also practical value of specific heat. This was not explained by the free electron theory and also failed to explain temperature dependent electrical conductivity. It explained the reason for the electrical conductivity but why there is a decrease in conductivity, electrical conductivity with increase in temperature was not explained by this theory. And also inability to explain difference in observed and predicted magnetic properties. There is a difference in theoretical and practical magnetic properties. These differences were not explained by the free electron theory and also failed to explain the temperature dependence of paramagnetic behavior. We know that the paramagnetic behavior of metals decreases with increase in temperature. Why there is a decrease in magnetic behavior, paramagnetic behavior with increase in temperature was not explained by the free electron theory and also fail to explain positively charged carriers in some metals. You can observe positively charged carriers in zinc, cadmium and beryllium. According to this theory, positively charged ions are fixed. There is no moment of positively charged ions. But you are finding out some positively charged carriers in some metals. This was not explained by the free electron theory. And also it's failed to explain some effects such as photoelectric effect, Compton effect and also black body radiations.
Thank you. Thank you very much.